Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm. It is now late August. It is now six o'clock and we've just got paid 222,000 for our milk. Our 200 cows are suddenly producing so much milk. It's gone crazy. But unless we get this TMR sorted, I think today will be their last day of producing milk. And we've not even got the uh, corn in the clamp ready to, uh, or the chaff from the corn in the clamp ready to uh, to pack, compact. So we're going to have a busy day getting that in today. I started early because, or well, because I should say, I uh, stayed out late. I got all the bales done, and I wanted to get these in in the morning. We're supposed to be running times ten. That was naughty of me. Um, yeah, so we, we need to get these done and I need to have a really good day in the field, chaff and corn, getting that in the bunker, hopefully being able to then compact it tonight, and then come end of September, maybe, we'll be able to uh, use that in September, maybe October. So our cows are going to be fed the hay. I'm going to chuck in some uh, cut beet because we've got a lot of cut beet. I might shovel in some of the silage and we've got the grist. We've got all the ingredients, we're just waiting on the second silage to make the mix. So I might be doing that. But so not to make this video too long, I'm going to crack on. I've got all these bales to clear. I've got them bales to clear. I then want to set a worker to uh, mulch the fields or the meadows. Have someone mulching today, we haven't done much mulching in a while, and uh, then uh, I think fertilizer can be done uh, September when the next growth comes through. We'll chuck some muck on it. So uh, I'll see you once I've got these all cleared. The bales have all been brought in, and what I want to do now, I'm going to do like I said, I'm going to dump a load of uh, cut beet in there for the dairy cows. The beefers are quite fine. Put this in there with them. I'll also put a couple of forks of silage in there because that money is good and we don't want to lose it. There, I, I would like to buy, I've said already, another bit of land. And although we've got shed space, I'd like some more sheds and to sort of do some more things of our own now, customize some stuff because by the looks of it, we're reaching a point where we're pretty stable and uh, we can start to do some other stuff for a bit. So that's what I want to try. You know, we could get through this year and then find out that we've not got enough silage, we've not got enough hay and this money is short-lived. So uh, let's spend it while we got it and <laughs> do some stuff with it. But hopefully we can maintain. Actually, I changed my mind and we're going to head down at the grist mill, go get some grist and then we'll put some silage in. I'm going to try and stop at around about, well, about halfway, I think. I don't think we need a full load of uh, grist. If we uh, get to about the halfway mark, halfway mark, halfway mark then uh, that should do us. Speech is going to be all over the place today. I haven't had my coffee. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go get some more in tomorrow morning. That's the milk, we got milk. So, grain grist, start. It's a slow fill, that's alright. Should be able to control it a bit better. Not sure how much exactly we have, sort of mineral feed in there. I think we have mineral feed in the um, little silo as well at the farm, so we could have just put some of that in. So this is... So this is grain grist as well. Okay, so it'll put it in the bags. Oops, 
there's a 1,000 litre bag. But also there. So if you want to pull out a little, you take that, or you can fill it up. That's nice. Hopefully I've got that right. Oh! <laughs> Tree there. Let's back it up. <laughs> that was as bad as my uh, ETS truck driving that. Right. Let's get this back to the farm. So we'll get this in. Grain grist. Yeah, it is. Grain grist is the right stuff. I was worried that I'd... Uh, <laughs> Build up on something entirely different for a minute there. There we are, all in. Then we'll uh, grab some silage. Keep mindful of the time, it's nine o'clock already and I need to hit the corn. And I think next uh, grass cut, which will probably be October, I'll try and make some silage bales because not sure, or I don't think, that we'll have this emptied. So we'll do silage bales and we'll store them somewhere. I think that's the uh, sensible option. Should we put a light on just in case someone comes around? I forgot about that little uh, fill thing. It's just where you get the overfill in the silage forks, and with Maze Plus, it just seems to dump it as as you leave. There is, I did say before, there is a fix for it. I think also if you have uh, modded stuff you can just change that. But we use base game so we just have to live with it. We'll, uh, pop that in there. We'll do a couple. We'll do, oh, I say a couple. Well, if we put in, put in 40,000 10,000. Now this is the base fee, this is the thing that we should probably put more of in, sorry dog. But they should be pretty good because they've got a lot of roughage and with everything else I think the roughage will uh, help to maintain them. Just scoop that up. Oh, we've still got some there, see it just spills. With our cows now fed we are finally chopping corn. We would have been chopping corn nearly an hour ago, but for whatever reason, follow me has not wanted to follow me at all, and has been doing whatever it bloody likes. So we spent an hour in game, and even had to reduce the time because it was just getting away from me, trying to uh, get them to do what they're supposed to do. But we're finally there. At first it didn't want to pick up the follow, then it didn't drive where it was supposed to drive. It, oh dear. Sometimes. You think you're going to have a really good day. We had such a good day yesterday. Last episode was recorded yesterday. I thought I was going to jump in. Bam! And it's going to go. But it's never like that. Absolutely nothing has changed within the game. We had no, mod, no new mods drop. I'm not even sure Giants might have even gone for their break at the time of recording this. I'm not sure when they start that. I don't keep track. But there were no new mods, nothing's been updated, nothing's changed. The vehicles were left where they were, and it just wouldn't follow. Like I say, then when it did, it just didn't follow properly. It uh, sometimes drives me absolutely insane, this love-hate relationship I have with Farm and Simulator. But anyway, let's try not to dwell on it, because we haven't got time to dwell. We need to be getting this done because we're still on this first little section we have got so much to chaff and sort of my concern now is every time I drive off to empty that is it going to take <laughs> an hour in game to get it to connect again hopefully not because you know we want to have a little uh, a little time lapse at least because this is going to be the job pretty much for the rest of the day now I was, I was hoping to do all them jobs this morning and then do like a double length time lapse to make up for not doing other stuff so we just, just roll this for a little bit longer so hopefully it'll play ball with us and uh, I can get it done because it just gets so disheartening so just as soon as things are going well things feel like they're going well 
something has to throw a spanner in the works, you just cannot get comfortable. Well, I can't. You cannot get comfortable with this game. It doesn't like it. I don't know what I do that's different from anyone else. I mean, at the minute, I'm not watching. <laughs> I think the only other farm sim YouTube channel I'm watching at the minute is uh, Disturbed Simulations. And the stuff I'm watching, he recorded ages ago. So, uh, as to uh, how, what other people are going for, I don't know. But it's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. We'll get this one done. I'm going to take the unload after this. We'll get this in the clan. And uh, hopefully, when we come back, we'll be able to connect instantly, like a nice bit of Bluetooth, and we'll know how well it's going to work for a time lapse. So we uh, dismiss them. We need to keep an eye on the roller as well, although that does take a while. It's only a three metre working width, and it's quite a bit of a meadow that they've got to get through. It doesn't go quick. I haven't set them to like speed up or go fast or anything. They're just running at their normal pace. We have bales everywhere, absolutely everywhere, They're stacked up. You wouldn't believe they're the other side of that other green shed as well, where the hay bales are. And you'd have quite a day on the farm. We need to have one of them quiet days where I used to be able to just skip through the extra day. They've gone. I need to have quite a day on the farm so I can just. Put me bales away, really. I'd happily do that as a bit of a time lapse if I thought we had the time to do it. But we just don't. We've got 200, actually about 250,000 litres in here by the time this is unloaded. Not much. We have like 700,000, 600,000 in the other one. We need to match it, really can't um, chaff the other corn. That is needed for feed. We do need to have corn for our chickens because they have stopped producing eggs so they're not happy. I need to get on that. Farm's too big. I think uh, when the time comes that we move somewhere else we'll definitely <laughs> build up slower. Oh, it's not build up slower. We built up slowly but then obviously Maze Plus come in and uh, kicked my ass. So, uh, but we'll start the next save. We'll run with Maze Plus, and we'll uh, we'll build slower and gradually do it. We'll do it properly. We'll get five, six, seven cows, and maybe five, six, seven more cows. Right, you are close enough. You must be able to register that. There we go. I'm happy that you're pushing me because that means you're trying to get in spot. Oh, you knobhead! Not that much. Christ Almighty, man! Just. <laughs> Get up with the workers. We are having an <laughs> absolute mare. Absolute mare. Oh dear. Right. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's hope this goes well. Let's turn, let's turn the header on. We're off. I feel like I'm losing my I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way in to be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose it fits, some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Yeah! There's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons In different versions, each new update, that shit worsens Why? Pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin We all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance Yo, so do me a favor, don't treat me like a neighbor Don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor I've got 
my own issues. I need a comb to get through. Don't need to groan with you. Just go get your wrong tissue. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world Big follow at that last unload into the clamp. Spend a little bit of time just trying to pack some of this back. Give me a little bit more room to uh, back up in. Because it's getting a little bit difficult now to uh, get the wagon up and over. So I'll probably do this, well, I'll say it's about four o'clock. It may not need that long, but I'm going to do it for a bit. It'll also help do a little compaction, but I like to get chaff right at the back. It's that like a nice flat level to my pit, really, if I can get it. So uh, I'll spend a few minutes doing this. Well, as you can see, the evening is pressing on. We've got a little bit left in here. Hopefully. Well, not hopefully. I will get it done, so I'll just keep doing it, going until it's done. But the reason I wanted to push on with this is because tomorrow our corn obviously comes in and I'd forgotten about it we've got that field of potatoes that'll be ready tomorrow as well so and then I, so that'll be September potatoes in September in October I believe the sugar beet will be ready and we'll be busy with that again so we'll have September October for potatoes with that corn won't take five minutes that's fine uh, September, October for potatoes, October, November for beets. I think that even rolls into December with the beets. And then we need to start getting ready. We got all through winter, we're going to be turning these fields over. The, the corn, the beet, and the potato fields, they're going to need plowing, so they're going to need stone picking. We'll probably get some lime out on everything. I'm sure when we looked at it, everything needed a little bit of lime that's been dug up. I might find time <laughs> in January to put them bales away. I want to have another cut of grass as well in between that that we want to do the silage with. Let's put some more lights on. Although our worker doesn't seem to be worried about lights. Let's let them catch up. I did have a little bit in the time lapse, you'll notice. I took my eye off the screen to uh, reply to someone on Discord as I was just cruising along and uh, the, the trailer filled and uh, we lost we lost a bit of corn a bit of chaff anyway let's let's get this uh, person relieved I'll try and drive over that bit of corn and take that out stick that we've got a couple of ears around but not too many of them just going to cab for this have a little look now the wheel's not in the right place so we'll jump out jump in and I'll go back. That's just what happened when you dismiss a worker because the worker doesn't seem to get recognised for putting the wheel down. So that's, that's just what happens. Yeah, we'll get this in there. I've got to try and make time to compact this. I'm not going to... I haven't got time in real life this evening to uh, compact it. So that'll be something I have to try and do during a day before the next recording try and get that done so that's that's going to be an all night going back and forwards in uh, in the clamp so that'll be fun just try to make sure I've got me uh, all the right lights on that I want back lights as well so yeah the clamp's a little bit tidy I spent a bit of time doing that I said I was going to do it till four o'clock didn't realize it was actually nearly four already so uh, just quickly shuffled it. Uh, it's pretty good. It's I mean, it's, a t so it's a short clamp, so uh, it, it levels out pretty quickly. And uh, we'll see what we've got in here. About five hundred thousand litres under that, because I think it's about twenty thirty thousand in here. Just have to bring that. I do have uh, like a, a roller for the chaff and things we can uh, get this done it's not a problem I just do it like I said I just do it during during a day 
between uh, recordings, just to make sure it's done. It's kind of going to be done tonight. But that is it for today's episode. It may be a short one, because we did a little bit at the start, and we did some things <laughs> in the middle, but it was focused on the chaffing. I lost an hour due to uh, follow me pieing up. And spent a bit of time in the pit. I do need to go and move the work. I'm hoping that work was finished rolling the first meadow. Didn't really notice because I was trying to pay attention to the trailer filling and the only times I sort of noticed the worker pop up was when I dismissed one. So we'll see, hopefully they're finished. I'll go check on them in a minute. I don't need to worry you guys about that. Like I say, yeah, that is another day done. I've got to find somewhere to put that harvester now. We need to buy that bit of land. Put some sheds down. I'm sure we've got some lovely sheds in the mod hub we can put on. So, uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed today's episode, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, <laughs> comments and feedback down there. You know, if you know why I have so many issues, let me know. It's probably just because I'm a little bit dumb. And uh, yeah, come and join us in Discord. We're having a laugh in there most days, so uh, something else to extend from the channel. You have yourselves a wonderful day. Hope you've enjoyed your Christmas. New Year's rolling in. See you soon. Bye bye. So, with our cows now 10 to. Oh, you're fucking shitting me. Come on.